Welcome back, everybody, to another episode of Caravan of Garbage, where this week we go, let's watch a good cartoon, unlike the time we had to watch the Iron Man cartoon a few weeks back. Oh, was, was that the brief on this? Because I watched a bad cartoon. I watched Pete Spider-Man the Animated Series. What are you talking about? We've watched this cartoon before. I believe we watched it when something, something Mysterio yeah. arrived, and everybody's like, is this the new hero Mysterio? <laughs> It rhymes. It must be true. Must but be. Then it turned out it was a villain. But this, we're watching the last two episodes of yes. the, the entire series. Season five, is this? Something like that, yeah. The animated series that ran from 1994 to 1998 before getting cancelled out of pure spite. Oh, this I is can, that one. Okay, we'll get into that later. Uh, well, let, let me tell you. Oh, please leave a like. That's something yeah. Mason can tell us all. That's, that's the first thing I was going to say. you got to say leave a like. you got to tell us to leave a like. Guys, guys leave a like. <laughs> Let me tell you this, though. The thing about this final episode, is the, these final two episodes, is clearly they, they wanted to go out with a bang. Looking at the episode descriptions on Disney+, Plus, like clearly they were ramping up the entire season. There's like oh, yeah. a Secret Wars situation, and Iron Man is there, and all the heroes, and they're all dropping in or whatever. Yeah. And clearly they were like, we're going to end with an even bigger bang. This, these two episodes are relentless. <laughs> they do not stop they're for just, a second. <laughs> I thought there'd be at least a little bit of downtime where, where Peter Parker is in his apartment wearing his big slacks and his big polo shirt, just yeah. chilling out. But he's not. He's all, it's all Spider-Man all the time. And it starts out with that you know that Spider-Man theme where it's like, Spider-Man, Spider-Man, radioactive Spider-Man. And does it, does it then go like, Spider-Blood, Spider-Blood, <laughs> radioactive Spider-Blood. It it's, like a, it's like a serial killer ramping up. It's one of the guys from Aerosmith sings and plays this song. <sighs> Yeah. Really? One of the not the main guy. Oh, one a different of, guy. One of the other the guitarist. Guys. Like, can you breathe over this? Exactly. How about that guy from Aerosmith? But man, this is this is Spider Verse. It's Secret Wars. Yes, yeah. I think it set a lot of trends. I think the it did. Clone Saga. The Clone somehow. Saga does that as well. You know, it obviously borrows a lot from the comics, and I want to talk about the creation of this a little bit. But yeah, I think there's things in this which then get spun off into like. The Raimi movies, I know there's a particular shot of I think you're probably Venom. giving this a lot of credit. No, no, this is true. You know the bit when uh, he's hanging upside down and he sees his reflection? Yeah, like sure. That's in the Raimi movies. Uh-huh. Uh, the Spider-Verse movie is apparently heavily influenced by this. There's oh, a lot of things Oh, because Lord and Miller were probably about kid age when they were... Maybe. Maybe. Uh, I honestly don't know. Uh, obviously, though, uh, like all Marvel properties um, <laughs> at the time, mm. and I guess all children's television, it was designed to sell toys. Oh, yeah. But I think... And this is an extravaganza. Or if so, oh my goodness! And uh, exactly, this is only two episodes. So at the time, supervising producer Bob Richardson uh, had the notion for the series to work. They had to approach each episode as a mini movie, oh. and then they even went as far as when he's swinging through New York. It's the real map of New York, like New York it's baby, New York baby. It's gone past the home of the Mets. <laughs> And the home of the Nets. You've gone past where they, they sell the hoagies or whatever. Hoagie Stadium. Hoagie <laughs> Stadium, okay, good. Yeah, but I feel like there's a noticeable depth of knowledge and quality in this series, mm-hmm, which mm-hmm. again was lacking in like the Iron Man show, well, the episodes that we watched in particular. Yeah. There were some mandates though, uh, a couple of which being they couldn't use Sandman and they couldn't use Electro because James Cameron was going to use them because he was oh, I see, doing his right. 90s version. Oh, well, where is he now? Yeah. Very in a, rich. In a submarine In somewhere. a submarine, rich in a submarine. <laughs> His dream. But they ended up doing, like, Electro uh, at, at one point, because, you know, that move, they were just went, oh, whatever, this is popular enough. Also, they weren't allowed to do an origin, which they didn't get around to until season three, when they nice. eventually did a flashback. Anyways, where we pick up. <laughs> is Mary Jane dead or gone or something? Yes. Okay, so what happens? She fell off. Uh, you know how she always falls off a thing? Yeah, Traditionally, sure. Mary Jane or, or Gwen Stacy falls off a thing and dies. Mm, absolutely. You can't kill somebody like that in a show like this. Mm. There are limitations. So she falls. So instead, she's just in a hospital bed, like completely wrapped up like a mummy. <laughs> Every right. limb's in like a, like, a, like a hoist of some sort. <laughs> That's it. You can never visit me again, Peter. <laughs> But she falls into a portal. Oh. And they did plan to bring her back for a proposed sixth season, mm-hmm. which I can talk about. Is that what is that what Doctor Strange told Spider Man? Yeah, yeah. Like she fell down a manhole <laughs> and Doctor Strange is like Yeah, she fell into a mirror yeah, dimension. Yeah, though, mirror, mirror dimension. Don't go, yeah, you shouldn't go, it's probably too dangerous. She probably went to a zombie yeah. universe. Look, the portal's closed. <laughs> they put the lid on it. <laughs> don't don't check, Peter. Yeah. Uh, but it seems as if that uh, there was a clone of Mary Jane. I see. You saw that flashback, I'm assuming. Mm. And she then turned to vapor. Oh, because that's what clones do. That's what clones do. <laughs> and I know clones. <laughs> no! Anyways, this time around, 
Uh, Spider Man, he's been, he's getting his, uh, his Jimmy's rustled by both the Beyonder and Madam Web because mm. they're like Spider Carnage is going to destroy this particular city and then the universe. Hey, Spider Man, we saw your vibe from across the room. We're like, hey, <laughs> we buy your drink. It's Madam Web and the Beyonder. What do you think of my really long one leg or whatever my situation is? I think it's a dress, right? Yes. I don't like it. Mm. Get out of the chair. What are you working with? What's going on with your one-pointed leg? It's not even a spider thing, is it? It's I don't like think a, so. like a tadpole thing. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Tad and web. So it's encouraged that all the Spider-Men or some Spider-Men from different dimensions team up to stop spider carnage. <gasps> So we've got a Doc Ock Spider-Man. Mm. We've got a Spider-Man who's in like a metal Iron Man-esque suit. That's the the spider armor. That's right. I have a copy of that issue. It's got a foil cover. <laughs> uh, we've got the Scarlet Spider. Yeah. We've got... Was he previously introduced in the series? Or I think was... in a clone thing, but yeah, not right, this right. particular version. Different dimension, yeah. sure. This is the Ben Riley version from another dimension. One that's got many arms plus one guy who is just a man in a suit. Yeah, and he's like, I won't take off my mask and I won't explain anything. <laughs> but I'm here for important things later, probably. Pretty interesting reveal with that guy, which we'll get to. Mm-hmm. So the idea of spider carnage is that he's going to have he's going to do a big bomb it's going to wipe out all dimensions. Mm. And uh, they want regular universe Peter Parker mm-hmm. to lead this spider team because he did a great Secret Wars. She That's was right. watching and she's like, this guy's fucking killing it. This guy's done the best Secret Wars that I've seen and I've seen heaps. <laughs> <laughs> Looking at all the dimensions, that Spider-Man just, just wrecked it. I enjoyed how the uh, the Arbit Spider-Man's like, but I'm rich and I have a company. I should, <laughs> I should be in charge. Of the spider team, don't you think? Apparently he's based on, uh, partially on the Japanese version because he's got like a mech. He's got the big Spider-Man robot, yeah. I I feel like though, if you're going to give it to any of the Spider-Men, I'd give it to one of the two with the extra arms. You think so? Just for multitasking purposes? Yeah. I mean, one of them does turn into a giant spider. Yeah. But the other one doesn't. That's right. You know what I mean? That's that's all, that's what I think's going on here. I would have probably given it to... Maybe a different superhero entirely. <laughs> Just bring somebody in who's got better Superman. Experience. Superman, bring him in. <laughs> he can do everything. I love him. <laughs> Clever. So uh, apparently Fox Kids, uh, they didn't allow Spider-Man, this seems to be a recurring thing with a lot of these shows, uh, to punch anybody. It's this whole thing. I know. And he, webs and stuff, but whatever. Yeah, mostly but punching. It's mostly punching because the, you know, the show would get shown in countries such as Canada. Oh, where, where punching is illegal. Punching is illegal. You can give someone a poutine, but that's the extent of violence that you exactly. can partake in. You, you, you go to a poutine pub, you've got to check your arms at the door. <laughs> that's right. You've got to hand them in, as it were. I think, though, uh, this is a credit to the series. You don't really notice that nobody's punching each other. Yeah, sure. Because it just doesn't stop, as you mentioned. They're just constantly tying each other up and throwing each other into walls and computer consoles and stuff like that. There's, I mean, there's a lot of, like... Bombs and, and, yeah. and lasers and sh- sharp things being hurled. Kingpins. Yes. There's one, or well, there's two kingpins. I was mm. going to say, there's one kingpin, there's two, and they both betray Spider Man. Typical, I feel. Did you know? You'd think you'd figure out this Spider Man. Look, spoiler alert, it all works out at the end, obviously, because Madam Webb has chosen the correct Spider Man to lead the team. Yeah. But this guy's. This guy's a, a big dummy. He's a bit, he, he goes into a parallel universe and he sees Mary Jane. He's like, oh, Mary Jane, I love you. And she's like, I'm a different Mary Jane. He's like, what? This is unexpected to me. Why? Oh, the kingpin's here. He's my lawyer. That's normal. <laughs> oh, he's betrayed me. The criminal mastermind, the kingpin, that I've fought on numerous occasions. He's betrayed me. Did you know uh, there was a few other limitations on this show, one of which being that the Sinister Six uh, had to be called the Insidious Six? Oh, I think so I remember that. So that's uh, fun, isn't it? And by fun, I mean pointless. Uh, and it's interesting that they took up until the final episodes to introduce a version of Gwen Stacy. Because yeah. a lot of it was worked into like a revamped version of Black Cat and then Mary Jane. They basically gave all the storylines to her because... They knew that, like, anybody who knows anything about Spider-Man knows we're going to have to kill this woman at some point. Exactly, so yeah. Just, so we're just and we can't kill that. her with punches, so we don't have any other options. <laughs> punches are off the table. Oh, you're, you're certainly not wrong. You must have, uh, I say you must have. Did you enjoy, <laughs> yes, at on. the end, uh, how, how they defeated the spider carnage? What method they used? Teamwork? They didn't just use punching. They brought in a man, a particular man. To be like, talk to this man. Oh, yes, of course. Yeah. Sorry. <laughs> Disappeared from my mind for a moment. Yes, yeah, Spider-Man went and he collected 
this universe's Uncle Ben or yeah. a universe's Uncle Ben? Where would yeah. he get him? Because I mean, surely he'd have to. He would have had to got him from a dimension where Spider Man doesn't exist, right? Because the only reason you become proper Spider Man is if your Uncle Ben dies. Yeah, but in this universe, the main Spider Man was well, the metal suit one. Yeah, right, right. And he's a jerk. Ah. Because he never learned a lesson that oh, Uncle Ben died. So he's right, just like, right. I'm just going to be Tiny Stark, I reckon. Tiny Stark? The tiny Tony's Stark. Tony Stark. <laughs> so I think that's the, that's the goings on there. Oh, okay, right, right. Yeah, yeah. Well, it's lucky then that that Uncle Ben wasn't a jerk also. <laughs> Yeah, that's true. I'm disappointed in your spider carnage. That's a stupid name and costume. <laughs> Where's your business? Get a real job. Be capitalism. Do a capitalism, Do please. Do a big capitalism <laughs> for your Uncle Ben. For old Uncle Ben. No, I like that twist, though. You know, they bring him in. I mean, I sort of, you know, you, you just kind of see it coming because he's the one person that can kind of talk down an evil Peter Parker. But aren't they? Oh, yeah, good point. Yeah. <laughs> good point. It's a good point. Mm. You've made a good point. But then, you know, he was... What about Mary Jane? Not as much, I don't think. Okay. Uh, but wow. he, he's so... This James, who, who would be more likely to dissuade you from, a, from an unwise action? Your wife or either of your parents? <laughs> I think if your parents told you not to do something, you, a grown adult man, would do it anyway. <laughs> out true. of spite. You're absolutely right. Mm. And especially, like, an uncle as well. It's yeah, like, right. No, I, 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 you hate all your uncles. <laughs> I hate... All but one of my uncles, that yeah, is right. correct. He, he, um, he's so effective, he makes him kill himself. He's super effective. <laughs> Uncle Ben's super effective. <laughs> Made a bad guy kill himself, jump into a portal that yeah. <laughs> turns him into a... Again, very fortunate he didn't just turn a gun on himself. <laughs> <laughs> or just break his own neck. Yeah, like absolutely. Real, something real scarring for the kids, you know? Yeah, I completely agree. And of course, um, I guess uh, there's, a few, there's a few things of note that happen towards the end of, end of this, but one of which is... That the Spider-Man who turns up with no powers. What's is he like, doing here? I'm, I'm wondering I'll, the whole episode. I won't, I won't take my mask off. You can take your mask off. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Anyway, the reason being is that he's, he's from a, he's from a, he's from our universe. He's, uh, yeah, I guess. Yeah, he's well, you know, he's from a he he doesn't have any powers because he's an actor who portrays Spider-Man in, yep. in 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 a universe where Spider-Man is fictional. Yep. And then he takes animated Spider-Man to visit. Yep. Stan Lee. My Stan goodness. Lee's in this. He's flabbergasted. He can't believe that he's getting to swing around the city like just in the comic book that he made, that he mm. helped make. He was one of the people that helped make it. That's right. Yeah. I would love the idea that this Stan Lee like, keeps getting visited by various versions of Spider-Man from alternate dimensions. <laughs> and so over the span of like 20 years, he's like... Oh, hey, Spider-Man, oh, wow. yeah, wow, it's great to meet a... This is, this is wild, actually. This uh, is, this is a, Swing around the city. I'm on my lunch break. But it's uh, kind of great, you, yeah, no, yeah. it's good to... Never thought this would happen. So I just hold on to your neck? I'm a seven-year-old man? You just want me to hold on? Yeah. yeah this is good. Same safe. <laughs> I pray for death. <laughs> I hope when we get to the top of the Empire State Building, I'm just a... Just a bag of bones. <laughs> so there's some there's some great voice work in this. You've got like an Ed Asner. You've got a Hank Azaria. Mark Hamill, who plays the Hobgoblin. Ooh. Who, by the way, was introduced before the Green Goblin, inexplicably. And that's fun. But uh, Madam Webb is actually voiced by Joan Lee, wife of Stan Lee. Oh. Ooh. That's acting, because you didn't even know that. That's true, I didn't. Even all the time she said, by the way, I'm Stan Lee's wife. <laughs> I tuned it out. Yeah, yeah. Because I'm so distracted by her weird one leg. <laughs> I think it's a dress. Mm. But I don't, I, I don't know. Because I know sometimes it's a dress, but in here it just looks like one weird tadpole leg. Mm -hmm. I don't like it. Do you, want, do, you want me to, do you want me to tell you and yes. the watchers of this video what was going to happen in season six oh, of this show? Yes, please. And why it was cancelled. So, Is it more dimension hopping? Well, a little bit, actually, yeah. So one of the reasons uh, was not to do with ratings. It tied into Saban Entertainment, who, who wanted... Creators of the Mighty Morphin Power Rangers. Exactly. Well, creators, yeah. as in they borrowed... They stand lead the Mighty Morphin Power Rangers. <laughs> That's right, exactly. So they wanted uh, Marvel's next animated series, and we'll talk about what that is in a sec. But the idea was, uh, and this is via John Semper, who was the head writer on the show, who I think genuinely did a terrific <laughs> job on this, uh, so he said in an online interview that a proposed sixth season would have had Norman Osborn, the original Green Goblin. The sinister sixth sinister, season. Or, or sorry, the um, Insidious, Insidious Six. Sixth I apologise. Uh, he would have returned uh, from Limbo to take on uh, to take back the role of Green Goblin <gasps> from his son Harry Osborn. Also, you know how it's kind of left unresolved what happened to Mary Jane. Yeah, she fell down that manhole. The they, dr they dredge the sewers. <laughs> they dredge the New York sewer system. They'd find her. She fell through time. <gasps> And he would have ultimately found her in Victorian England with amnesia. And she, wow. she would have been hunted by carnage. A different carnage, the same carnage, doesn't matter. Medieval carnage. Yeah, yeah. Just assorted goop <laughs> from the 
from the gutters of Victorian England has exactly. become sentient. Well, he actually takes on the role of uh, Jack the Ripper. So he's Spider Man does. No, they're the Carnage. And he's finally going to get that radioactive spider blood that he's always wanting in no, that, no, no, in no, that Carnage. theme song. Oh, Carnage okay. Mason. All right, all and right. And once he stops Carnage, you know, he brings uh, Mary Jane back to the present day and she's like, I've always known you, Peter Parker, whatever, etc. <laughs> However, Margaret Loach. Oh, no, she's gone mad. <laughs> I don't know. You're smart about it or whatever. Uh, she probably got scurvy or something. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> However, Margaret Loesch, who was the president of Fox Kids uh, at the time, hated one of the show's executive producers. Abby Arad? Correct. I knew it. <laughs> Due to fights they'd usually have over the show and she wanted to put Arad out of business. And out of his misery. That's right. Uh, when the 65 episode contract for Spider-Man was up, uh, she decided to cancel the show and permanently shut down Marvel Films Animation, the company uh, that provided the animation for, for, uh, for Spider-Man. Whoa. Um, so again, they had a better relationship with Saban Entertainment. And so they ended up making a completely new series, which is sort of loosely tied into this, but not really called Spider-Man Unlimited. Spider-Man gets to punch everybody, it was called. Yeah, Spider-Man, look, it's just Batman Beyond, all right? Yeah. We're, just, we're just doing a Batman Beyond, but Spider-Man. Which, look, that show isn't as well regarded mm. as this, but it's not without its fans. But look, if you do want to, uh, to know what happened, 20 years later in 2018, uh, Semper's original finale, he published it in script form. Oh. So you can very much uh, go and check that out. And I imagine there's probably somebody somewhere working on getting the whole thing animated or some variation on that. How about this, though? They're bringing back X-Men 97. That's true. What if they did Spider-Man uh, goes to Victorian uh, England and Carnage is Jack the Ripper? I would love that. <laughs> yeah? Just one more episode of that, yes. Yeah, I think they'd be able to do it too because Sony own the movie distribution rights, but they don't own anything else. Ah, so Marvel could do it. So they could absolutely do it. Whether they will or not remains to be... Spider-Man. That's right. I thought... What a ride. I liked it a oh. lot. I kind of want to go back and watch a bunch of this. I probably won't, mm. but I do have that inclination. I didn't get that from Iron Man. I was like, I don't want to see this again. Yeah, right. But this, I'm like, pretty, pretty good. Well, look, I think it was. I th look, I think you're right in that. It, it while it was not super faithful to the lore, it did include a lot of elements from the comic books. Yeah, it was clearly, uh, you know, a lot of a lot of love for the original source material, and I think that translated very accurately. Mm. But James, I'm very old. This was so fast. It's too fast for me. It's a lot, lot going on. Yeah, yeah. Too much red and blue as far as I'm concerned. Well, that's, Hurt my eyes, James. What are you supposed to do in that situation? Make one of them a different cool colour. Yeah, okay, fair enough. But what a one, thumbnail this is going to make. Mm, that's very true. <laughs> Anyways, this has been Caravan of Garbage. We do this every week. Yes, we've already done all the Spider-Man movies for Caravan of Garbage. That's, that's right. why we're just like... What else? What else is there? We'll do Spider-Man Unlimited at some point. Probably. Oh, look, he's got the same powers as the Batman Beyond suit. That's <laughs> crazy. <laughs> what are the odds that it's the same, same same, stuff? We'll probably end up doing the MCU version at some point as well. Yeah. You just need a little bit of distance, you know. But if you do have a suggestion for Caravan of Garbage, please leave it below. And if you do want to see these early, guess what you can? Whoa. Here's a hint towards next week. Spider-Man. Wow. If you're like, wow, that looks really interesting. I'd love to see it a little bit early. If you sign up at bigsandwich.co, it will be there early, along with movie commentaries. Including Spider-Man Homecoming. That's which we right. Just did. Including bonus podcasts. Including an early version of our podcast, The Weekly Planet, where we talk movies and comics and TV shows. Comes out there Sunday as opposed to Monday. Wow. Wow. Uh, and if you want to listen to our podcast, it's got its own YouTube channel. It's got its own iTunes channel. It's got oh, its own, got own iTunes Spotify channel. channel. Whoa. It's got its own... What's another podcast thing? Podbean. Podbean. It's probably on Podbean. It's probably on Podbean, I didn't right? put it on Podbean. Maybe it's on there anyway. Maybe I don't a know. big fan has put all our <laughs> content on Podbean. <laughs> and monetizing They're it. They're monetizing it themselves. <laughs> and I say good on them. <laughs> Anyways, thanks for watching this. I'm at Mr. Sunday Movies on Twitter. I'm at Wikipedia Brown on Twitter. Have a good... Spider-Man. That's right. Yeah. That's fucking right. Sorry. <laughs> Grab that jam, you guys. We'll see you next week. Yeah. Yeah.